It was a Thursday night nail biter here at People's United Center as Quinnipiac ended the two game losing streak against St. Peter's on a game winning free throw. I'm Greg Settos alongside me is Eric Kerr. This is the rebound on Q30 Sports. Eric, Quinnipiac down seven at halftime. How did they bounce back and win this game? Well, Greg, it was a lot of things. Defense was the major thing in my mind that helped Quinnipiac out. They were in the passing lanes, playing tight defense, not letting St. Peter's get a free look at a basket or a free pass, and they're using that to get a lot of big baskets down the stretch on the fast break. We saw Mackenzie DeWeese hit a huge and one to put the Bobcats up by three, making the basket and the free throw as well. And also the rebounding was big for the Bobcats, giving them second chances on the glass to be able to come up with those loose balls and put it back in the basket and also go to the line to give them extra chances at the free throw line as well. And also three-point shooting a lot better for this Quinnipiac Bobcats team. Coming into this game, the past two games, they've been two for 21 from the three-point line. This game, they were five for 13. So solid three-point shooting for Quinnipiac here today, and we'll continue that in their next coming games. So let's talk about the leading scorer of this team, Shaq Edwards. Zero points tonight, 0 for 6 from the field, five turnovers. What did you notice about her game that was off tonight? I think Shaq Edwards was playing too fast. She was playing, trying to play 100 miles per hour, looking to quickly get the ball up the floor and try to look for an open teammate or get a quick basket for herself. And that results in zero points and five turnovers. I think in the long run, Shaq Edwards needs to slow the game down, play within more of a half-court set, and help the team out. So other players stepping up for the leading scorer when she was going a little too fast, so next game she'll look to slow down her pace to be able to improve for the next matchup coming up. So as you said, the next matchup coming up, 2 o'clock this Saturday against Maris. Only two losses for Maris this season, so it's a huge game for Quinnipiac. What do they have to do to win that game? Yeah, I think with Maris, you know, they're a very good scoring team. Top scoring offense in the MAC, and also the top field goal percentage in the MAC as well. So they're going to need to be able to limit their turnovers. In this game, they had 17, which was just one less than St. Peter's today. And they've had problems with turnovers in the past, being able to keep it on their side. So I think Quinnipiac needs to make sure to limit their turnovers and not give this Maris offense, which is so elite at scoring, second chance to be able to increase their lead even further on the offensive end. Final score, Quinnipiac 70, St. Peter 69. I'm Greg Settos. This is Eric Kerr. Thanks for watching The Rebound on Q30 Sports.